So we're here at the Cote de Cure, um Grand Tasting with Daryl Groom, who, it's amazing, Daryl won the Tech de Cuve Award a thousand years ago. <laughs> I mean, it was ages, and I'm delighted to see him back here. He's a man of uh, amazing winemaking accomplishments. He's been recognized before, but Daryl, you won the award before, they're not awarding it to you again, so, so tell me, uh, why are you in town tonight? Well, we're, we're in town for a really special reason, and uh, it's funny that we've been associated with Cote de Cour, I think, for about 15 years now, not knowing how meaningful heart research was going to become to our own family. And uh, 12 years ago, um, my wife and I had a little baby boy, and he was born with congenital heart disease. And his name's Colby, Colby Rex Groom. And Colby, at the age of eight and nine, um, had to go undergo back-to-back -back heart surgery, surgeries. Um, so he had open heart surgeries, one when he was eight, one when he was nine. Little did we know how much the importance of research came into him still being alive today. And Colby ended up having um, a St. Jude's medical valve inserted in his heart. But ever since he had his um, heart surgeries, Colby's always wanted to give back. He's done the American Heart Association, Association Heart Walk. Um, Colby's done a survivor video. He raised $1,000 in our backyard showing people his scars. But he came to me six months ago and he said, Dad, you think we can make a wine together? And I shrugged him off initially, and then How he old came is he back. Now? Colby's just turned 13. 13 years old, and, and he wants uh, to make a wine. And he wants to dad. make a wine. He wanted to understand the science of wine, is what he told me. Um, but he had this little thing in the back of his mind. I've been a winemaker for 30 years, and he said to me, Dad, if we did make a wine together, do you think it would be any good? And I said, Of course it'll be good. And then he said to me, Well, if we do, do you think we can sell it? And I said, Yeah, we can sell it. And where he was heading, he said, do you think we could donate the money to heart research? And I thought, wow, what a great young man he's become. So we came up with a wine, it's called Colby Red. That's got a good, good fix on that, Colby Red. And then it's being served tonight. I've seen so it's here. being served tonight, but Colby and I were going to make 50 cases of wine and we were going to raise a thousand dollars for heart research. But our good friends at Walgreens nationally, I told them the story and they got behind it. Now you can buy Colby Red in every Walgreens store, and in two months, um, we've raised somewhere between sixty-five thousand to a hundred thousand dollars for heart research. That's great.